So now I'm going to email myself the VPS password I just used. There we go and click the send button and there we have it. So I have my own password sent to my email address. So let's close this now. So the first thing is to change your password. After you change your password, here on the top you see there are several functions or controls to start container, container is the server itself, to stop the server or container, to restart the server or container, to suspend it or update container software. So after you change your password, I would recommend you to update your container software by clicking this. So this should update it and if everything is already updated it will say that the container software is already up to date okay so let's move forward on the left navigation menu you can see file manager maintenance resources applications packages and control panels I'm not going to go through with all these individual functions but I will discuss all the necessary functions that you will be using. Okay, um, the ones that you are not going to be using, we're just going to run through real quick. Let's go to the file manager for now. So here is your file manager. Inside you can browse all the files and directories within your virtual private server. But I highly recommend you to not, again, not to play around with this. Just leave it as it is now. Okay, so let's move forward to maintenance. Here we have three basic functions, backups, repair mode, and reinstall. Now this backup is not to backup your websites or databases or emails this is to actually to back up your server so don't run this backup unless you want to back up your whole server this function is um, recommended to be used when you are making a big changes on your virtual server for example if you want say to upgrade your Apache web server or your mail server or your database server you want to update to a newer version so before you do that make sure you do a whole server backup through this process now each uh, VPS provider has its own restriction on this particular container we have restricted three backups set and we already have all three backup set here so in order to backup more states we have to remove some of these backup files we're going to discuss this whole backup function on another video in details now in repair mode the system will actually recreate your VPS to its original state or reinstall from scratch but it will use the network settings you already set your network settings your passwords everything will be preserved so this is like um, safe mode in Windows something like that to reinstall but use the basic configuration settings you already set lastly the reinstall tab which basically do a complete reinstall of your whole VPS from scratch just like you receive it new 
when you just purchased it. Now that's the maintenance function. Moving forward, we can see the resources here. Here you can see your CPU usage, memory usage, and disk usage. So basically just to check how much resources you are currently using. This is, um, you, uh, you can use this if your website are getting more popular and getting more and more traffic. So from time to time you might want to check if your VPS are still able to, 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 uh, to accommodate your website requirements. So moving forward, let's see on applications and packages. I don't recommend you playing around with this. Um, there is a better way to manage your server's applications and packages, which I will show you on the later videos we have. Now, this is the packages, the same thing. I don't recommend you to play around with this. Just leave it as it is now. Moving forward is the control panels. Here you can actually manage or first install your Plus control panel if your VPS comes with Plask. If your VPS doesn't come with a Plask control panel license or it comes with a um, cPanel or WHM, I will show you on how to manage your websites, domains and emails separately on, on a separate video depending on which control panels you are using. So for now we're going to move forward to the next set of functions. Here we have system services, system processes, firewall and SSH. I don't think you will need to play around with this as well so just skip that part. It is not necessary to get started hosting your websites. We will however discuss all of these settings on a much much deeper um, learning curve later on on a separate video sections. Logs, you can see your status changes here, the status changes of your VPS, your resource alerts if your VPS at any given time are using more than the allocated disk space or bandwidth or CPU, you will see all the alerts here and your tasks log as well your traffic log. So as I said earlier you won't be playing much with the parallels power panel. All you need to do here is to change your password and update your container software and whenever you have a system crash you can restart your container here or you can shut down your container whenever you need to shut it down. Aside from that, you might want to set your email address here. This is my email address. And so whenever the system is sending out alerts, you will receive it on your email address. That's pretty much it. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. There is not much you can do on the power panel management itself because it's basically to manage your server and not to set up your websites or emails or databases. We will cover that on a separate video just right after this one. So thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial will be useful for you to get started with your VPS.